have never really been a trainer guy. Don't get me wrong, I do own trainers and often wear them. I get that they give off a laid back confidence that so many people yearn for. I get that they are effectively culturally neutral, allowing you to pass through life with minimal footwear judgments. I'm just not a trainer guy. I only have two pairs, a fashion focused runner and your basic beat up tennis shoe, both in white. A sad figure I must be to onlookers. However, I'm pleased. I have never really been a trainer guy. There is another shoe that I reach for when others grab for the latest drop from the hype machine. It's in fact not a shoe, but a boot. A boot that has been in production for over 70 years. A boot that can take you anywhere. Well, almost anywhere. They look confident. They look capable. They look cool. Everything I strive to be, but I am not. The Red Wing Mock Toe Boot. I love this boot. I have yearned for this boot, lusted after its striking silhouette to be on my feet. But once I owned a pair, I fell in love. I knew I would. I knew that it would be perfect relationship. Together, through it all, pub sessions, dog walks, half-assed DIY projects. We had an unbreakable bond. It wasn't always plain sailing though. Like any relationship, the beginning is crammed full of highs and lows. The pure joy at just how good they look paired with denim came hand in hand with unbearable, insufferable pain from breaking these boots in. The casual confidence that came from these boots was a Faustian pact. Heel pain, toe pain, all over foot hell. All served up with blisters you didn't know you could get blisters on. Did our relationship survive this orthopaedic trauma? Of course it did. Just as rapidly as the pain was inflicted, it also subsided. Like any good leather boot, it integrated itself with my foot, leather creases mirroring how my foot moves, working alongside my gait rather than against. With every wear the relationship getting stronger as the bed of the boot starts to mimic the compressions of my foot. I loved them so much. I wore them all the time. I loved them. I loved them too much. I wore them down. Every trip out pounding the pavement took its toll on the soles of my beloved boots. With such thick white soles, you could be forgiven to think that these would last forever, that they would never wear thin. But they did. I loved them too much and wore them down to the midsole. Don't fear though, I'm not a monster. I would never wear a pair of shoes or boots if I knew that the sole was about to break into the midsole. Only a madman would risk the permanent damage that could arise from being so carefree with such footwear. Determined to keep my relationship going with my AI let friend, I took them to a local cobbler, someone I had never used. As you know, beggars can't be choosers these days when it comes to shoe repair. Cobblers are becoming a rare breed. Their once dominant presence on the high street has ebbed away to almost nothing. The sight of that creepy doll continually hammering a shoe in the window of a cobbler has become a collector's item. I used this cobbler because I had no choice. This was the cobbler in my town. Use them or decommission my beloved Red Wing boots. I had them repaired. I had them brought back to life with a new sole. I asked for a vibram wedge sole, but a vibram wedge sole I did not receive. I informed the cobbler just how special these boots are to me and I needed to know that he was capable of looking after them. He said he was. He was not. I let my boots down. In an attempt to do the right thing, I failed them. The scars of a half assed job will haunt the relationship forever. All relationships face tests, and my weird relationship with my red wing boots is the same. We got past the butchery of the incompetent cobbler and moved on. Beer drenched meetings with friends, adventures with a canine companion, woodworking projects that will never be completed. Our relationship has matured into something new. Just like a sneak ahead who says the eternal lie, my collection is complete. I knew this relationship needed help. So I did the unthinkable and then introduced someone new. How could I do such a thing? This shouldn't be misconstrued as me turning my back on my old friend. No, this is the kindest thing to do. Now my beloved boots can take a well-earned rest between wears. The leather can take its time to dry out from my sweaty feet. They can develop a patina of wear gracefully. And when it comes time for them to be resold, I will have time to research and locate a more competent cobbler. 
A happy ending for a man and his favourite pair of boots. The start of a new story for his second favourite pair of boots.